what you need for final exam. For final exam you need to create one folder Inside of the folder, you need to put all your BIP file for each animation that you created. Uh, also, you need to combine all of them into one BIP file and post your character. Also, please remember to apply your final animation to your character. You don't need to render, just apply so I can see the action. To combine all the files together, uh, you need to create new file, create biped, and apply your files to the byte by clicking motion panel and mixer to add your files you can right click uh, also you have uh, two ways to do it you can uh, convert to transition track. Uh, this works well if your animations set up in proper way and they all face in the same direction. Or you can make adjustment by yourself. So first you go new clip from files, then you grab your files You can select all of them at once or you can do like a 4x4. Four four. Uh, I do try to open them at once and you can see we have uh, all the animations here together. Uh, what you can do, you can change the position and the way you want to play them. So for example, let's say if I want to dead on dent, I can move it that animation by that I can start with idle then I can have a jump kick punch and so and so you can also leave a little bit space between them if you want to make adjustments okay so when I'm uh, happy I can click this button to zoom and extend all and click the little set range so 3D Studio Max adjusts the length of your animation. Next thing, you need to click in the corner right here where it says BIP001. Right click and compute mix down and click OK. Okay, so now all the files are computed into one. And one more time, right click and copy mix down to biped. Okay, so it copies all the files to the biped. You can close it and you can turn off the mixer. And now when you play, You have uh, all the files combined into one. Now, what I want to do, I want to create final BIP files. So I select my character and go to save options. Click save. And I can save this as final animation. Or one, for example. And save. So right now I did save my animation. Now I'm going to open my final character. To apply my final animation, I select one of the bones, go to motion panel and click open or load file. And I click my final animation and click open. And right now 
the final animation is applied to my character. Now, you may need to make some adjustments. So for example, if your hands are too close to the body or they go through the body or anything else that you need to adjust like a feet movement. I see like right here, hands go through the body. So to do that, I go to layer. Of course, I need to turn auto key and I'll create new layer. Okay, it's easier. So for example, let's say I need to make adjustments here. I So I make adjustments just before. Okay, set keyframe just before. So I go to uh, keyframe info and set keyframe. Unselected hand. And then I go and just afterwards I'll set up one key somewhere here when the hand is out of the body so I set the key and then somewhere in between when the hands goes really deep to the body I'll move the hand away okay Maybe rotate so it doesn't sit. And I can do the same thing with my other hand because I know it goes through the body as well. And voila. Now I want to combine this into one layer. So I click this button and I will collapse. So you can make adjustments like this to every pose. Like I hear I have some feet sliding, I can adjust it as well. See? And so and so. Thank you.